What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Nintendo Land. There is so much information coming out right now about Switch 2. It's crazy. It feels like the calm before the storm is over. The storm is here. Literally everyone and their mother and their dogs are talking about Switch 2 right now. It's literally still all but confirmed by Nintendo, but things are moving. Literally, things are moving all over the place. Well, apparently today, there's been some news coming out that lots of different developers have been flown out to Nintendo yesterday for some reason. I mean, some of them, such as Josh Fairhurst on Twitter, stated we had an awesome visit to Nintendo of America today. I am grateful that we have such great partners at NOA. And apparently, this has been happening with multiple partners like lots of partners have been flown in so these are publishers these are partners of nintendo these are important people these are not just people coming out like content creators to play a new game so this isn't for mario and luigi brothership this isn't for mario party jamboree this isn't for zelda echoes of wisdom this is something different and it's very strange that this is all happening as the rumors are coming in that there's a big switch to event happening very soon a lot of people still think it's happening this week. I still think it's happening this week. There's a very good chance we could get it announced tomorrow. I feel like tomorrow might be our last chance to get it announced, but we're just going to have to wait and see. But it seems like something is happening right now. Nintendo is getting these developers out, and lots of people are chiming in on it, including Laura Kate Dale, which is a very reliable insider and a you know someone who actually is a journalist within the gaming space and has talked about things that has actually came to fruition and happened in the past. But she comes out and says, so not to be a conspiracy theorist, but a lot of developers have seemingly got invited to visit Nintendo yesterday. This is far from the only example. Sure feels like maybe devs might have been getting a look at some hardware ahead of it getting a public reveal. He then goes on to say, had been hearing rumblings that a bunch of devs got invited out and seeing photos published is making it really hard not to read into what might have been going on. Ha ha. She then goes on to say, to be clear, I am speculating. Maybe there's something else going on. I'm not seeing, but it feels like things are bubbling up. And this just continues to go on. Andy Robinson tweets out, since the Switch launched, Nintendo has held a Nintendo Direct every September without fail and usually around now, just saying, and drops all the dates where there has been a Nintendo Direct every single September without fail for Nintendo Switch. The last seven years out of seven years, we have gotten a Nintendo Direct. And I know a lot of people are saying, so could this just be a regular Direct? Probably not. I mean, literally, I think this was the last week that anything could happen. We'll get into that in a second. But Christopher Dring, we've been talking about him a lot, who has been, you know, originally saying that something was going to happen this month, you know, specifically the last couple of weeks, including this week just gives the little eye emoji so clearly something is moving things are happening people are getting sent out to nintendo developers getting sent out to nintendo for some reason or another things are obviously in motion here now the question is when is nintendo actually going to drop a trailer for this thing i mean everybody's kind of expecting this week i mean i'm literally looking at nintendo's twitter this morning they tweeted out some mid-season update for fortnite which is crazy and everybody's like really nintendo where's switch 2 i think like the entire internet is now just like us content creators where we've been so on switch 2 for the last like seven months now everyone's on switch 2 it's trending every day on everything it's just like it's time and it feels like it's time just yes Yesterday, we've already touched on, you know, some reports coming out about the leaked name of the console and the fact that it could have went into mass production yesterday, uh, which is a pretty big deal because once that mass production starts, Nintendo's really going to want to have to do everything that they can to make sure things don't leak. And they're probably going to get this announcement out before somebody leaks a picture of the thing at a factory or something. I mean, it happens all the time. So Nintendo, please announce this thing. Also, we have to look at the schedule right now because September is almost over. Next week is a busy, hectic week. There's a PlayStation State of Play going live, which is like a PlayStation Nintendo Direct. There's Echoes of Wisdom. There's Tokyo Game Show. Next week is not happening. So if it doesn't happen this week, I bet we can probably just put it off until the beginning of October. But it just feels so strange that all this is moving right now, literally days leading up to what the rumors have been suggesting being this week. It just feels like tomorrow could finally be the day that it's announced. Now, it could very well not happen. We could have to wait until October, which means 
I, I'm gonna have to dress up as Tingle, and you know what? I, you know, I, I'll do it. I, I'll do it because I'm just I'm so sure. I'm still in that 90 percentile range of just so sure that something is going to be happening when you know something announced within the next 24 hours. I will be shocked, man, because it just it feels like the perfect time. I've seen somebody else also mention it's so perfect too because it's right before uh, I think pre-orders go live for the PS5 Pro, um, which is actually happening next week. And I've seen a lot of people and even analysts say that it would be an extremely impressive and powerful move for Nintendo right now to reveal the Switch 2. I mean, right now, people are upset with the PS5 Pro. They're upset about the price. They're upset about PlayStation in general not having many games. So this is a perfect time to do so. Before the pre-orders, before the state of play, before people really start trying to invest their money on this new console, Nintendo swoops in the week before. I mean, come on. It's at the point where it just writes itself. There is no better week, I think, so far in this year that would work better for Nintendo. Yes, they could wait until October where things calm down a little bit, but still, it might be waiting too long. People might just say, hey, I'm getting me a PS5. It's hard to say that's how people would think, but you know what? I'm just putting it out there. It just makes a lot of sense. And I've seen some people even say, like, Nintendo is not just going to announce this thing in a day advance. Like, they're not going to just say, like, this is a Nintendo Direct. I don't agree with this. For the original Switch, the review was announced I believe a day in advance and the only time we got a heads up of something bigger was the Switch presentation that happened in January we knew about that around December so yeah unless Nintendo is planning on just dropping a 40 minute presentation this early when we don't even know what the console is I don't see that happening a lot of people seem to be hinting at maybe this is just a new form of Nintendo Direct this could be a Switch 2 Direct where it's just like a small 15 to 20 minute presentation which is something that definitely could still be announced the day before so I guess I'm still on team this week, honestly. I mean, I still hope it's just in the month of September, but I just don't see next week being likely, like whatsoever. So honestly, I feel like for September, tomorrow's it. If nothing's announced tomorrow, I guess we just wait until October. But rather we wait until October, you know, because I think some rumors are saying the first week of October. Some rumors are still suggesting this month, like this week, even tomorrow. Uh, so we're just going to have to wait and see. It is a crazy time to be a Nintendo fan with speculation. This is what we love, though. It finally feels like Switch 2 is in the air. This isn't just raw speculation of us trying to piece some things together from some unreliable sources. Things are moving. Nintendo's apparently sending people out, probably getting them to play test this console look at it check it out trying to figure things out about it you know for devs to collaborate with them and for their partners to make some games for this console so i cannot wait it's just an exciting time and i'm sure some big things are happening very soon but of course let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this do you think nintendo's getting ready or gearing up for something huge uh, do you think nothing's happening this week are you expecting something in october Definitely let me know what you think, especially with today's update. Do you think this means anything with developers being flown out to Nintendo? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.